Hello all and welcome to another episode of Three Blind Bags. We're up to season four, episode four of Three Blind Bags. But just in case you're new to it, here's how it works. Down here next to me is a box full of blind bag products. They are all different in there, no two are the same. What happens is, is I pull one out at random at a time without looking. And then when I pull that one out at random, I'll have a good look at the pack, examine it, just see what it's got to offer, anything rare and common available in it and all that sort of jazz. And then after I've done that, I'll obviously open the pack, examine the product that's inside of the pack, have a bit of fun with it, perhaps take the mick out of it if it deserves it. Now what I must do as the episode progresses along is line them all up against the wall of Mega Drive games until I have all three there at the end of the episode and from those three I must pick a favourite of the episode and that favourite of the episode will be the champion of the episode and that champion of the episode will go forward towards an end of year video to perhaps be the champion of champions for three blind bags which by then will have been the year 2023. So with all that said and done let's have the right hand disappear into the box. We shall give it a nice shuffle and you know what I feel a plastic orb. I'm going to take that plastic orb. I'm going to see what it is. I'm going to see that it's a small orange by the looks of it. No, that is meant to be a basketball. Because obviously, as we can see, it is Space Jam. And there is LeBron James pointing at us rather angrily as well. Bugs Bunny don't look too impressed next to me either. What's this sticky thing on site? Can we take that off? Yeah, that looks like we can take that off. Right, it is off. Um, oh, oh no, that's the trouble with orbs. You drop them and they just roll away. Uh, just all right, we chased it down. Uh, obviously, I know a few Looney Tunes characters, and I know that's LeBron James, but there might be a few characters in here that I don't know if they're from the movie, because we've got LeBron James regular and LeBron James blue, perhaps. So have we not got a little thing sort of telling us who we can get in it? Anything rare and to come available on it? 22 to collect. That's not happening. I'm just going to take the one. But if we've got a gold LeBron James, James, is that perhaps a chaser? How easy is this thing going to be getting into? That's what I want. Well, ah, we've got a sort of a, a thing here that's supposed to be easy to tear, but um, yeah, we know how they work out, so that's why we have a, a trusty, rusty knife on standby so we can get into it a lot easier. He says, Blimey, is that stuck down or what? Right, how many gouges will it take for me to get in? Ah, here we go. Right, well, we've torn a little bit of it off, we're just sort of taking one layer. There we go, right. There's a, a, a you know, well moulded to be honest with you. That's a nice looking plastic basketball. Although, why has it got these little locating lugs at the bottom? I don't know. Right, let's crack it open. Who do we want? Let's let's have a LeBron James or, or, or a Bugs Bunny because I don't really know who else we can get. Oh, we open it up and it does come in its own little bin bag. So it was absolute rubbish. You're ready to throw it away. Right, what else have we got here? Uh, is that telling us that we've got Granny by the fact that we've got this sort of paper guitar pick um part of a dart flight we need just need to do the second part to make a cross of things fly through the air there's a bit of paper in here i suppose telling us who we can get or you kind of perhaps spoilt it there right let's have a little bit of paper anyway before we open our mini bean bag and see everybody that we can get oh it tells us who who they are should we uh not have seen the film, which which is true. I've seen the original with Michael Jordan in it, and that's uh, so it's one of those films that's bad, but it's good because it is bad. It's overly cheesy, but we can get look, uh, we can get a platinum LeBron James and a gold one as well. And let's let's open this bag and let's see if it is Granny. We'll keep that there just in case we get something else and we need to know who it is. Right, we've got scissors on standby. Come on, is it Granny? Did the, did the paper guitar pick spoil it? Yes, it did, in a way. Well, that's a, that's a little bit disappointing that he did that to it. And uh, do you know what? I'll give it to it. it is, um, it's well moulded and well sculpted by the look of it. Although she uh, could do with going on, on, a, on a little bit of a diet there. She's got a little bit tubby and got a, a bit of a, a, a posterior going on there, sticking out quite a bit, isn't she? But she's flexing, trying to prove she's strong. I don't think this is going to be anything rare or, or uncommon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I take that back. Apparently, Granny is rare. Got a whole host of common characters. Everything's common except for Algae Rhythm, who's rare. Oh, Goat and Hall of Fame, I'm guessing, are sort of next levels up from rare. But we actually pulled a rare out of this. However, I would have preferred someone like Tasmanian Devil. That would have been so good. I would have preferred Bugs. I would have preferred LeBron James. Even Daffy Duck or Tweety or Marvin the Martian. Sylvester, I don't know who the hell you are, but basically anything else other than Granny. No, some of these characters here I don't really know, so because I haven't seen the film. But uh, yeah, Tasmanian Devil would have been the one that I would have really wanted if I could have actually seen who I could have got and all that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, flexing Tubby Granny there is actually a very nicely moulded thing. Although this paint job just kind of looks thrown on. 
Mm, okay. Oh, you can go into the wall for now. And uh, do you know what? I say you're nicely moulded, and the other the other bits could come out very crap, and you never know. I tell you what, this can be your like little stage, can't it? There you go. Stand on your own face. Why not? And flex as if you're proud of it. Right, into the box, and let's see what we get next. Oh, nearly lost sight of the box. Right. Uh, okay. Turn head. Give it a shuffle. Oh, there's very full of bags at the moment. Right. What have we got? Uh, we've got uh, we've got Sonic sideways on, and we've got his head. Classic Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, good, because uh, classic Sonic the Hedgehog is so much better than uh, uh, more modern, up-to-date Sonic. In my opinion, I'm old. Right, uh, squish me. There are six to collect. So what can we get? Oh, right, we can get Sonic, Knuckles, and Amy. That's the top row. Uh, there's Tails. There's Super Sonic. And there's a rare 1 in 18. Could it be Shadow? That's who's popped into mine straight away. Or Dr. Robotnik's. But uh, if it's that shape there, that, that shape there looks very almost Sonic-shaped, doesn't it? Or is that just me? It actually looks a little bit... Ain't, no, no, it hasn't got the quiff, quiffy bit that Amy's got there. But there we go. So we can, by the looks of it, we can get Sonic's head that we can squish. So if you want a decapitated head of a Sonic character, uh, these squishmies have got you covered. Is there an easy tear tab on here? Can we get into this? Yes, there is. Oh, who do we want? We want Knuckles. I've always been a bit of a fan of the Knuckles character. I always think thinks he looks a little bit cool and badass. So if we can't get Knuckles, we want Sonic. Uh, screw Amy, we don't want you. Uh, sorry, nothing against you. Towels, kind of... Oh, God, I've just seen this glowing pink. Open, big mouth opened, messed it right up. Right, go on then. Let's have a look at Amy's head. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, I'll be honest with you. Giddy. Um, hmm. That's not that great, to be honest with you. It's not... Hmm. That's weird. That is very weird. Exactly what it says on the tin, though, it is it is very, very squishy. I'm not I'm not loving that to be honest with you. I am not loving that at all. The well, the the face is well painted, but it's uh, it's a bit rough on the old moulding, and that that red, whatever that is, is just kind of seems to be slapped on, and that number on the bottom of her chin really kind of ruins it. Hmm. Not loving that, not loving that, and uh, normally Sonic products I'm very positive about. I like Sonic, and they've probably got the one I didn't, the one I wanted the least out of all of them. You literally, if I was to rank them, it'd be Knuckles, Sonic, probably Tails, then Super Sonic, then Amy, of the ones that I can see, but the rare would have been nice. Um, no, I'm not liking that, not liking that at all. Oh dear, oh dear. But are you better than Granny? I really don't know. Right, let's give this a big, big shuffle. What else can we do? What else can we do? Oh dear, that's that's plastic and horrible. I'm not having that today. Right, we shall uh, we shall um, go for whatever this is, and this is Gormitty. I've not heard, not heard of these. What the hell are Gormitty? Answer on a postcard, please. Um, I don't know. Some very suited up, armoured things. This geezer over here looks a little bit simple, doesn't he? This yellow dude here. This this guy at the front looks very stern and serious. Uh, as does the, this guy in the background. Hmm. What are Gormitsi? I tell you what, should we open them? That and find out. That would help. Oh, anything rare on a common available? No, lots of plainness on the background. Right. Out you come. What have we got? We've got, uh, there's paperwork. Is that a spoiler as well? Limited minifigure. Oh, right. Uh, oh, oh, look. There's a special code. Look, unexpected giveaway alert. Type that code into something. And uh, I'm guessing, is there a website somewhere? And you can um, have that. Uh, maybe the website's on here for you. Right, this is everybody. This is the gang. This is the Gormiti gang and who we can get. Lord Kayon. Lord Titano. Lord Melios, uh, there's a lot of lords. Uh, this this guy here with drills for hands, and then we have got Trek and Eron. Who? Whoa, what are they? Oh right, so limited edition golden versions of the lords by the look of it, and nothing to do with the website and that code or whatever it is. It's on the packet. Look, I want I want to do a free giveaway of some port thing. Maybe just type Gormiti into uh, into Google and see who you get. Right, let's have a look at who we do get. 
Will it be golden? Will it be rare? Will it be a golden rare? Well, there we go. I can sell this on eBay for a whole... Uh, uh, I feel this might be slightly more valuable than what the numbers I usually say. So we'll go £3.33, all the threes. But that's definitely one of these dudes down here, isn't it? Uh, this far one in the corner, this one here. Lord uh, Kion. Kerry, Kerry on, something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what these are. I don't know what to say. But the moulding, yes, yeah, it's good moulded. Well moulded. Is it, is it well painted or is it just gold plastic? Cape, cape and all, with a bit of movement. Well, I t I just, I've just noticed that uh, everything behind me, or behind the Lord, has absolutely just fallen down. Granny's fallen over. She, she's uh, nipped off to have a sherry. And uh, you've got no body, so you're just a head that's rolling around. Mm, so disappointing. First Sonic product that I've been absolutely megaly disappointed with. But we've got this gourmetty Lord carry on, carry on, K on, whatever dude here. And, uh, yeah, we pulled a rare. And do you know what? Disappointed with the character that I got. Possibly could have won if I'd got a character that I liked more. Disappointed because, well, it's the one I wanted the least. And it's a head and it's just disappointing, to be honest with you. So I'm going to say that this Lord Carry On dude actually takes it for me. Do you agree with me? There's a comment section below for you to play along and disagree with me. And perhaps tell me more about these things if you know what the hell they are. I think the blind bag was only a pound off a website, to be honest with you. Can't believe I pulled a rare. But yes, Old Lord Carry On is going to be your winner for Season 4, Episode 4 of 3 Blind Bag. Like I say, if you do just scream into the comments section below. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the episode. So if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up. Um, if you do that, YouTube likes it and I like it as well. So that make me happy. Please make me happy. Um, anyway, if you do do that, thank you very much in advance. If you do like Mystery Item Openings, Blind Bags, all sorts of manner of mystery items. Do plenty of the channel, so please consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed already. And if you've enjoyed this episode, why not tell a friend? You never know. They might want to subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'd love that as well. If they came along for the for a bit of fun and entertainment and uh, randomness and misery sometimes in me opening blind bags. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter about my misery, by the way. I don't mind. As long as you enjoy yourselves, I don't really care. I have fun anyway, even if I don't get what I want. Come back. Sorry, go back in the view. Anyway... <sighs> squish me anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i think this is where i should be going with this and saying now yes thank you very much for watching and as always please do take care